Hello and thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Riza and today we're going to be looking at an exciting new feature for Utility RepliWeb. It's XML config configuration transformation, uh, which is basically now available in version 5.2 of R1. Uh, so what we're going to do today is go ahead and replicate um, a new site which has a database connection configured for it. So if we take a look here in IIS, I've got um, an XML uh, config that's defined based on my um, database connection string. So taking a quick look at that, I can see that currently the database for this development site is pointing to the dev DB. What we're going to do today is then replicate this site to a new QA site locally on the server, and we're going to update that connection string to point to the QA database. So let's take a look then at um, the actual job configuration. configuration. Switching into the R1 console, I can see that I have now an XML uh, or web config transformation job that's defined. Uh, and if we take a quick look here, we'll see that this job is set up to replicate both files and IIS uh, 7 configuration. Uh, so we're going to be replicating, of course, the site as well. And we're going to be replicating all of the content from the dev site to create now a new subfolder in the dubbed up root folder called uh, QA site. Uh, this job is set up to run on demand, so I basically can select it and run it whenever I want to. And a couple of different uh, job options that I've enabled is the ability to preview snapshot results so that I can see what the job is going to do before I actually run the job or before the job actually performs any actions, I'm sorry, on the target. Uh, and then I can also go to the IIS configuration section. So two parts of this site that I'm going to be replicating is, first of all, the application pool. And I'm going to transform that and change it to the QA site application pool. Similarly, I'm also replicating that dev site and basically renaming it to QA site, pointing to the new QA site folder, and of course, updating it to use the QA site application pool. I'm also changing the TCP bindings so that I'm, that I'm using port 91 for the new site. The additional thing that needs to be configured for this job is, of course, the config transformation. And what I've done is basically configured the R1 job to use an uh, XSLT file, which contains the details about the config transformation. And I've included the specific web config of that uh, data directory that we looked at earlier. So a quick look here in the data directory shows me my web config file is pointing to the dev db. The end result is that we want to see that this dev db gets updated to QA db. So let's go ahead and run the job now. So I'll just uh, right click on the job and choose to submit it now. A new instance will start to run uh, and of course we have now the ability to preview the results of the snapshot so that we know exactly what the job plans to do. See now that the job is waiting for confirmation. I can right click on that and choose the preview option. That now shows me uh, a view uh, of exactly what the job is going to do. And you can see here that all of the uh, web files are going to be tra uh, uh, transferred. And then we also have the web config file, which is basically marked for transformation. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, there is no deletions on the target because, of course, the QA site did not exist uh, as yet. So I'll just confirm that, and then the job will actually begin the transfer stage. As it transfers the files, once that's completed, it will also uh, take care of that web config transformation. So the end result is that a new site will be created. And if we take a look now at the sites defined here in my environment, we'll see that the QA site has been updated. The application pool has also been created. Uh, and then when we take a look at the data uh, folder and take a look at the connection string, we can now see that that database connection string has been updated to QADB. So a quick look at the file system uh, should also confirm the same for us. If we move up here to the dubdub root and open up the QA site, we can see in the data directory the web config is also there. And opening that up shows me now that the database connection string has been transformed to QA.db, uh, QADB. So that's a very simple uh, demo that shows uh, or highlights the ability to perform XML config transformation. 
uh, if you have any questions about how this is enabled or if you would like to take a look uh, or try out this new feature of R1, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at repluweb.com. Thank you and have a good day.